Welcome back to the David Pakman Show. I am Jesse Dollimore sitting in for David Pakman while he is away. My final day here with you. Listen, I talk a lot about Christian nationalism and the emerging threat, the under-talked about and the under-appreciated threat of white Christian nationalism in this country. It has been a decades-long priority and objective to be met by these Christian nationalists to intertwine themselves into government in an effort to take over the government, to force their Christo-fascist views on the rest of us. Are you Jewish? That should concern you. Are you a nun? Uh, you, you don't have faith in whatever religion, tradi religious tradition? It should concern you. Even if you're a Christian, it should concern you because the flavor of Christianity, the doctrinal ad, 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 uh, point of view will likely not be the one you share, and it will be imposed upon you. And there are many, I mean, we have met several, but dozens of members of Congress who are now avowed Christian nationalists who will jettison any adherence, any loyalty, any solemn vow and oath they took to the Constitution, and bah, who cares? Because my flavor of Christianity will rule. It is a, a dominionism you should research. And I, I'm going to play this clip of this Jason Rapert, former Arkansas state legislator, uh, pastor, who is instructing his audience to that, that we must take authority over the government. Do you think that America is going to be free with a bunch of drag queens running the place? It is fear-mongering, but it is a call to action. This isn't passive. Ah, well, if, you know, if, if we end up with the majority, maybe we can do some good. This is an active movement to overtake the government and rule. Watch this clip from uh, Jason Rapert. We must take authority. God told us, said, go out there and be, be fruitful. Multiply. Fill the earth. Subdue it. And have dominion over everything. Fill the earth. Subdue it. To take authority. And friends, the reason the country is struggling the reason you've got $32 trillion in debt and no, no holds barred. The reason we come to brinksmanship over and over again on the national debt is because the Christians in America have failed to take authority and now is the time to choose. Now is the time to stand. Now is the time to plan. Now is the time to fight. Now is the time to, to work together. To save the country. Look, do you think that America is going to be free with a bunch of drag queens running this place? No. Do you think America can remain free and strong with a bunch of Antifa nuts running around destroying property? No. And if you're tired of that stuff, then it's time to make a change. This is a nation of the people, by the people, and for the people. It was created for you to be in charge. A nation of the people, by the people, and for the people. So when we have politicians and elected officials that are corrupt, they need to be taken out, sent them to jail, sent them to prison, just like I've seen some people do even while I was serving in the Arkansas legislature. When you see people like Joe Biden taking, taking advantage of position and enriching his family like he has done, it's time to take them out. Take them out. Remove them. Move them on. It's time to take authority. It's time to take authority over everything in the earth to make a difference. Of, for, and by the people. This country was made for you. And he's talking to his Christian audience. This country was built for them. They need to take it back and rule the country. 
that we have a struggling nation. We have a $32 trillion debt. Doesn't mention anything about 25% of that $32 trillion being Donald Trump's responsibility. Doesn't talk about uh, unpaid for tax cuts that led to that 25% share, that stake of our national debt. Talks about jailing Joe Biden for corruption, but ignores the rampant, flagrant corruption of Republicans. Because they're Christians. They are white Christians who also share in his dominionism and his outlook. Subdue the earth. Are we going to be a free country with drag queens running the place? Are we going to be a free country with Antifa, with anti-fascist activists out there? Are, are they taking away freedom? Are drag queens taking away your freedom? Do you feel less free today because drag queens read stories to children at libraries? Jason Rapert thinks so. It's dangerous. And it's not fringe. It's not fringe. This is, this is becoming more and more commonplace, more accepted by virtue of it becoming more commonplace. And it is something that not only we need to keep our eye on, but we need to be ready to combat it where it is.